Hi friends and welcome to Load of Crack. Today I have a very special guest with me. This is Vaughn. Vaughn is my son and for a few reasons I thought it'd be fun to have him on. One, we are in a very strange time right now with all things COVID-19 and I thought it would be just some fun and different approach to Load of Crack to have him help me cook. Secondly, I'm sharing a new recipe that is easy, minimal, and hopefully things you have in your fridge and your pantry. And three, some of us are home with our littles, and so it's a fun way to get your kids involved with cooking. So, Vaughn, can you tell everybody how old are you? Three. Three. And pretty soon you're going to be? Four. Exactly. Four. At the end of this month. So, can you tell everybody, welcome to Load of Crock. Welcome to Load of Crock. Okay, so on this edition of Load of Crock, can you tell everybody what we're going to be making? A load of crock. Yes, we're going to be making a load of crock. And what is in that load of crock? Do you remember what it's called? Uh, Rav... Ravioli. Ravioli. You got it. Minimal ingredients, by the no. way. We're going to put some meat in ours. But you don't always have to. Right, Vaughn? No. No, okay. So as always, we're going to start with spraying the crock pot. I'm going to spray and then after that, Bond's taking over. All right, we got to get the sides and the bottom. <laughs> Perfect. What do you think? Yeah. Agreed. Totally agree. All right, then next, what we're going to do is we're first going to add a little bit of the tomato sauce. Yeah, I'll do a, I'll, I'll do a Okay, and just do a little bit, just to get a nice little mixture on the bottom. Perfect. All right. That's a lot. That's, it is a lot. It's a good amount. Okay, then what we're going to do, we're going to add the actual raviolis. So we have a 20 ounce bag of mozzarella raviolis. So let's pour those in. Good job. Okay. And then we're done with those. And then here's where we're going to add some hamburger, some fried up hamburger, because we like beef, right? Yes, but you don't have to use beef. And you could also do vegetables if you wanted vegetables, but we're going to do roughly one pound of fried up hamburger. No. Okay, uh, I know, but I, it's a glass full. I just want to be safe. Do, do, uh, do we have to put it all in? Yes, we need to put it all in. Good job. Okay, perfect. I'll take that. Now, then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a roughly fourth cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. So? Yep. Just like that, excellent, I'll take that, perfect. And then finally, we're gonna add the rest of that sauce. We just did a little on the bottom to give it a nice coat, and then we're gonna pour the rest over the top here. Perfect, good work. Alrighty, that looks great. And then the last ingredient that we have is actually, oop, is actually not yet though. We have one to two cups of mozzarella, and after we cook it, when it's about done, we open up the crock pot, we'll put the mozzarella on, and then we'll uh, let it sit for about another 15, 20 minutes. So we'll come back to show you after we do this, we're gonna put it on low three hours, and then we'll be back to show you putting on the mozzarella and finish up the dish. Okay, friends, we're back. So we ended up putting this crock pot on low for two hours, and then following that, we added one cup of what kind of cheese? Do you remember what kind of cheese? Parmesan. No, not Parmesan, you're close. What's the other white one? Um, mm. mozzarella. Mozzarella. One cup of mozzarella cheese. And this is how it turned out. You can see here, if you like your crock pot uh, ravioli a little bit cheesier, add a little bit more cheese. And of course, if you're doing more than one bag of ravioli, add more cheese um, for that. And all of these different serving tips and amounts will be on our website, myloadofcrock.com. Vaughn, did you have any tips that you wanted to give everybody watching? Three. Three. His tip is three. I'm not sure what it means, but let's go with it, okay? Yeah. Thank you for helping me today. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And as we're saying thank you, we want to thank all of our essential workers that are out there, people in the healthcare industry, hospitals, emergency rooms, urgent cares, also all the people that are in our grocery stores, our Targets, our Amazon delivery people. We are so incredibly grateful for all of you during this time. We're always grateful for you, but especially during this time. So thank you all for everything that you're doing. I hope everyone is staying safe and sane and healthy. And if you enjoyed what you saw here, 
let us know. We could do some more cooking with kids in the kitchen, right? Right. Can you tell our viewers thank you for watching? Thank you, workers, for watching. Yes, thank you, workers, and thank you for watching. And now, Vaughn, can you serve us up some of this nice dish here? Get it right in there. Perfect. Get a good dig in there. Put it right on that plate. Beautiful. Thanks again to all of you for watching Load of Crock. Happy and safe uh, time to all of you. Yeah. And check out this crock pot ravioli. Yeah. If you, you like it, then just, just make it with your boys or girls. It's a great idea. What a great tip, Vaughn. Thank you so much. All right, thanks for watching Load of Crock. Until next time, bye.